All right. So again, we are with our part for Ya. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series and learning something. So far, we have learned how to create a bot, how to set up the base, how to detect messages, how to check if the message sender is a bot or not, how to detect the content, and how to delete a message. Right. So in this part, we will move forward and see how we can edit the content after a short time delay and what else we can do for that. Let's open the discord.js docs. Link is in the description, by the way. Okay, so here let's search for message. And okay, here we have a lot of stuff, but again, I can't show everything. You will get to know as you need it. So we already see author and ya. Here is channel as well, and channel and channel A. Also content, which we have already seen. And we also have methods. We already saw delete, and today we will look at edit and also react and pin, okay? So we will cover both of these in today's video. Very nice. So first, let's look at edit. So let's click on edit to see if we can get more info. Okay, nice. So here it says edits the content of the message. So we can use it like this. Nice. Okay, now let's go back to our Visual Studio code, and here I will increase the timer for the delete part, maybe to nine seconds. So I'll make it 9,000 and above that. Now we want to edit the message. The bot sends, so again, we don't want it instantly. We want it to edit after two seconds. So again, set timeout and arrow function and ya. Yeah. If there's only one line, we can also write it like this without curly brackets. So like this, bot repli dot edit and in brackets, the new content. So let me write hello world here, and that's it. Now after two seconds, the message will be edited, and then after nine seconds, it will be deleted. Wait, nine seconds is too much, I'll make it six seconds. Okay, now good. All right, now we will go to our terminal and run node dot, and in a few seconds, the bot will start running. Okay, very nice. Now let's go to our server, send hi, and you can see bot replies, and after two seconds, the same message gets edited, and then after six seconds, it gets deleted. Cool. So now let's say we want the bot to pin the message after editing it, and also react to the edited message. First, I'll comment out the bot reply delete code, because right now we don't want the message to be deleted. After that, we'll simply write bot reply dot pin, like this, and to react to the message, we'll write bot reply dot react, and in brackets, we'll provide the emoji. So let me choose this emoji right here. Now, if we go to our terminal, we'll need to close it first in order to restart the bot. So to do that, just click on the terminal to select it, then press Control C, and it will terminate like this. After that, we'll use the clear command to clear the terminal. If the clear command doesn't work for you, you can also use CLS. Okay, now let's restart the bot. Very good. Now let's go back to Discord and send hi. So the bot reply, and after two seconds, the bot edited the message, then pinned it, and after that, reacted to it with an emoji. Very, very good. Now, for example, if you want to react with a custom emoji instead of a default one, then yes, you can do that. Right now, there are no emojis in the server, so I'll go to server settings and quickly upload an emoji. Then I'll give it a name. Okay, it's uploaded now. I'll go back and now type a backslash, then select the emoji we uploaded. This will show the full emoji with its ID. Copy this as it is, then come back to the code, remove the default emoji, and paste the custom emoji. And that's it. Now, if we restart the bot and type a message, it will do everything else as before, and as you can see, it now reacts using our custom emoji. One more thing, if you've noticed everything is happening way too fast, like it's not happening step by step. For example, if I send hi, you'll see it sends the message, then immediately pins it, reacts to it, and then edits it all at once. Now, let's go back to Visual Studio Code to see what the issue is. So here, you can see that we're using a wait for the bot reply, which means the code waits until the message is sent before moving forward. But after that, the next three actions, edit, pin, react, are all happening together. So if you want to do everything step by step, then we need to use a wait with all three actions. 
First, for botReply.eth, we'll add a wait in front of it. And yes, we'll also need to make the function async, so we'll define it as an async function. After that, we'll also add a wait before botReply.pin, and then again before botReply.react. Now, everything will happen step by step, and much more smoothly. Okay, now if we go to Discord and I type hi, you'll see that everything happens nicely, smoothly, and step by step, which looks way better. All right, so I hope you learned a lot today as well. If you're enjoying this series, please like and subscribe, and also leave a comment. And by the way, make sure to join our Discord server because we host lots of daily challenges, events, and exciting giveaways. And also, if you face any issues related to bot development or coding, our team is ready to help you out.